all right hey guys welcome back to my channel so this reading here is for my Aquarius zodiac sign this is love and relationship reading for September 2020 before I dive into it let me just say this is a general reading so this may not resonate with you if it does everything may not be for you in this reading it could be messages for someone else so take what does and leave the rest also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, please flip the energies that best resonate with you. So let's go ahead and dive in. New love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. And past life relationship. You have known each other before. So uh, let's clarify new love. Why is new love here? Clarify new love. Clarify new love. Clarify new love here. Clarify new love. All right. I shuffle and then we'll pull here. Page of Pentacles. The Moon card. Okay. Six of Wands. Four of Pentacles. All right. So this new love is here. All right. First of all, you're on this bottom. This Queen of Swords here. All right. Aquarius. You're very guarded. I'm sorry, guys. I dropped something here. Let me get pulled up. You're very guarded, okay? This is telling me you're very guarded. You're very hesitant. You have a, a kind of like a protection wall up to make sure that nobody can hurt you or anything like that. Um, but here I'm seeing this person coming in, Page of Pentacles. This is a new offering coming in. Could, could be a younger person, someone very um, young-minded, okay? Could be young-minded. Or this could be like a fresh new beginning for you here. Um, this could also be good news coming in. So this could be someone telling you that they're attracted to you, that they see you, that they're interested in you, right? Okay. But the moon card is showing up here, okay? You may not be too certain about this person. You may be, it may be some uncertainty there about how you, um, how you see this person approaching you, right? With the moon card here. Um... You may not even think that this person can bring you new love, okay, because you may see them as a younger person. You're like, eh, you know, you know, how much can they really offer, right, with the moon card here? But I see you looking at them like, okay, okay, you know, but they're here. They may be a little unsure about the approaching of you, you know, a new person has started your romantic feelings. They may be... I'm sure about how they how they are approaching you or how this um, how this interaction may go, but this person has a lot of respect for you here, a lot of respect for you. They're even kind of holding back a lot of things as far as like trying to pursue you or the romantic feelings that they have for you, or this could be your energy. I could be reading your energy as well. One of you guys, I'm going to say one of you, are holding back how you feel with the uh, Four of Pentacles here. This is showing me that you, um, one of you is like keeping a lot of things to the chest. You're not really letting things out. You're not really letting, um, letting someone in. So this could definitely be you. Because again, you're in this Queen of Swords energy. But someone's, it's like someone's not really opening up to this new love connection. It's like resisting, like somebody's resisting it, Okay. Because there's unsure, there's uncertainty here with the moon card. There's like, there's a lot of respect. There's a lot of, like, someone looking up to you or someone seeing you, like, um, how can I say? Someone kind of is, like, putting you up on a high horse. Like, wow, this person is gorgeous. Or, wow, this person is beautiful. Or, wow, this energy of this person is amazing, right? But, again, there's, like, someone holding back, like, resisting. And that could be you here. Since you're in that Queen of Swords energy. Um, but we'll, we'll see. Let's keep on going into the reading. We'll figure it out here. Let's clarify uh, codependency here. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Clarify codependency for Aquarius here. Alright, let's uh, go ahead and pull and see what we have. So, Five of Pentacles. Okay, so that may be you. The Devil. Yeah. The World. A Knight of Cups. Okay. So, yeah, this is definitely your energy. And the Sun card is on the bottom. So, that's that's telling me that happiness is there. It's available for you. Okay. 
So you're, this is your energy. You're the pentacles energy right now, okay? You're not, it's like you're unsure about a connection. You're unsure about a new love coming in. You're holding things in and close to your chest. Like you don't want to be vulnerable to anybody or you don't just want anyone to be able to come in and just hurt you or break your heart or anything like that. That's why you were in that Queen of Swords energy. That's why that Queen of Swords popped up at the bottom of the deck. Now, this can explain why you're in this Pentacles energy, right? Either you walked away from some type of addiction or you left out some type of addiction or an obsession that you had because it says addictions are affecting your romantic life. But to me, I'm seeing that you've overcame that addiction here, okay? And the reason I say that is because we have the Five of Pentacles, the Devil, and the World card. So you could have been ba uh, battling with like a drinking problem, drug problem. Um, I don't know. It could have been like a depression, you know, depression, um, a shopping addiction, you know, anything really. Porn addiction. I don't know. You know, whatever, whatever you were into. You could have been very codependent on it. It could have been, you know, you working and um, working a lot of hours to fill up your day, you know, things like that. It could have been anything, whatever the addiction is that pertains to you. But I'm seeing that whatever this obsession, addiction, or toxic uh, toxicity was that you were dealing with, you are overcoming it now, right? You are now moving forward, and you are now triumphing over all of that. It's a new day, okay? It's a new day for you. And now that you are doing that, you are allowing love to come in, okay? This love offering is now coming in. Again, remember, this is new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So this person you're feeling quite unsure about and, and you know, you're holding things back to your chest, it may be because you have dealt with all of this here or you're overcoming it. You may not be completely over it yet, so you're not sure how to accept this love offer that's coming in here. All right? Now, let me tell you, the energy I'm picking up with this Knight of Cups is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, okay? But we also have the Wands over here, so this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius as well. Yeah, but I see you moving forward. To me, it looks like progress here. You might have been in a standstill. If you haven't progressed forward, you could still be kind of like in a standstill. You could still be on the battling end of this toxicity. It could have been, it could have even been like a, um, a past relationship that you were kind of holding on to, okay? You were still holding on to, and you were trying to hold on to that connection. It could have been that as well. Even if you walked away from them or they walked away from you, it could have been like one of those relationships that really kept pulling you back in, you know? So it could have been anything, whatever your addiction is that you're dealing with or whatever your toxicity situation is or obsess or obsession that it was, okay? This could have even been like manipulation. Like somebody could have been manipulating you or you could have been uh, manipulating a situation or something like that. It could go with a lot of things, okay? Um, but let's see. Let's... Um, Let's clarify that. All I see is there's love coming in. There's a love offering, Knight of Cups. And you're having to do the work before this love offer comes in. So whatever the inner work that you need to do, outer work, inner work, whatever it is, both of them, whatever it is, you have to do that in order to allow this love offering to come in. And that's probably why you're feeling so unsure. That's why you're in that Pentacles energy. Why you're feeling so unsure. Let's clarify past life relationship. Let's see what this is. Nine of Swords, okay. Eight of Pentacles. Knight of Wands. And Four of Wands. Okay, so. Ooh, the bottom is Five of Wands, so. So this past life person, to me, with this Nine of Swords, this is showing me that you could have been up late nights thinking about this person. You could have been. Well, this person could have hurt you in the past. This person could have really, could have made you go through some depression, could have made you, uh, could have really intensified your anxiety, things like that. Whatever this past person was, I don't, 
don't know what they did to you. I don't know if, again, this could have been a past relationship where you were dealing with some things. This could be that past person here that walked away from you, that caused you. And this could have been a person walking away and it caused you to, I don't know, binge. You know, maybe you went binging on alcohol to deal with your emotions or um, drugs or, you know, like marijuana or what, whatever, you know, whatever it is. Alcohol. Exercising. You could have been overdoing the exercise and things like that. It seems like it happened maybe because of a past relationship here because I'm seeing not of swords. You staying up late nights, cry, you know, upset. You could have been crying. This woman, like if you look at her, she's up thinking about it. She has her arms folded. She's upset. But then here's the pentacles energy again. So eight of pentacles is telling me you're at work. It's like you're at work. Maybe you dived into work here. Maybe you dived into work. But I'm seeing like nine of wands and four of wands. This person is coming back in. It's like they want to give another go. This could have been a marriage. Could have been a toxic relationship because I'm seeing marriage, commitment, okay? And not, a, it doesn't have to be like the legal marriage. It could be one of those spiritual marriages or something like that. I feel like maybe the relationship was toxic or they, when they broke that connection with you, when they walked away or when you walked away, it, ooh, Aquarius, what happened? My goodness. Well, I'll tell you what, let's get some advice here. Let's get some advice. All I'm seeing is this person coming back because we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. Maybe this person is coming back here and it's the new love that they're bringing and that's why you're so unsure about it because you're like, holy crap, you know, I went through a lot after we broke up. Do I want to go back through this or this could be a new love coming in where it's a brand new person and yet you're thinking about this ex. You're thinking about this past lover here. Let's see, let's see. Because this, be, this could be a brand new person coming in, and that's why you're unsure, because you're still kind of, I don't know, like you're still emotionally dealing with this past lover here. Maybe this past lover is getting in the way, and that's what's causing that toxicity there, or that, that devil energy. Let's see, what is the advice that you have? What is the advice that you have for Aquarius here for this reading? What is the advice that you have for Aquarius? this reading. What's going on here with the advice that you have for Aquarius? Advice that you have for Aquarius? Okay, so let me show you. The first card that popped out is Share the Love, okay? Share the Love is just saying, give the small gestures, like the, the thank yous, the, oh, I really appreciate you coming today, or, oh, I really appreciate you, um, what is it? I really, I really appreciate the small things. Like, you do small things like giving, um, giving thanks to someone. Or, sorry guys, I don't mean to put my arm in the way. <laughs> um, small things like you, you're appreciative of the small things. You're appreciative of, like maybe somebody just giving you a card. Okay, giving you a card saying they were thinking of you today, or a simple text of, you are on my mind today, or something like that. Okay. Just appreciate the small things. And I feel like this person is doing that. This new love. They're trying to bring in the small things. And they're just wanting you to kind of, you know, respond back with them. Um, again, you're probably feeling very unsure about everything. That's why you're like, eh, that's why you're holding back. Holding back. So even if it's like spending just a couple of bucks on something small, go ahead and share the love with them. The next card that popped out is the sacral chakra here, okay? The sacral chakra is the one that relates to the emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality, okay? So that could have been a thing, too. Maybe this was like, maybe you were dependent. Maybe you cheated, okay? I'm just I'm just saying, I'm not trying to accuse you, Aquarius. But maybe you possibly had cheated because you had a sexual addiction or something like that, okay? Or you just cheated. You may not even have a sexual addiction. You just enjoy... Um, you know, having that that 
sex, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to say it in the nicest way possible, Aquarius. It could have been something like that, or they could have cheated on you. Either way, I'm saying either way, okay. I'm not here to judge, I'm just here to give the message. But that could have been it because I'm seeing the sacral chakra, and the sacral chakra is emotions, desires, creativity, and sexuality, okay. And a lot of times, our sexuality can, we could go over the top, or we could just be very under it like where we're holding back. So you need to balance that uh, sacral chakra here, okay, with this codependency here. With it popping out that way with the sexuality, I feel like this could be like you could have had some type of sexual situation going on, okay? Not here to judge though. But to get this balance, you need to burn some orange candles. You need to uh, dance around um, while burning the orange candles, wearing orange, meditating, breathing in orange, and exhaling the negativity. Breathing in orange, exhaling the toxicity. Okay? You need to uh, work on that. You know, bring that orange sacral chakra back into balance here. Um, let's see. The last card that uh, came out of the psychic tarot for the heart is the listen card. All right? So this person that's going to come back, right? I feel like they're going to want to conversate with you. They're going to want to have some type of conversation with you. Just sit down and listen to them if, if, if you feel like you need to, okay? If you're the one who did the dirt, the cheated, the whatever, whatever this devil card is representing here, if you're the one that did that, maybe you, you know, they want to sit down and talk and kind of, you know, have some type of ending here. I feel like they're coming back, though, um, with this nine of wands and four of wands. Like, to me, it's like they're willing to give it another try, okay? This is completely up to you, all right? Up to you, Aquarius. You don't have to give them another try if you don't want to, okay? If you don't want to. If they're the ones that cheated, I can understand. If you're the one that cheated, I can understand as well, okay? I'm not here to judge. This is your story. But um, the listen card is here. So maybe you guys just need to sit down and have a conversation so that you guys can overcome everything, okay? Again, I feel like somebody's coming back, though, to offer their love. So, you may be having two, you may be having two, um, two separate people here, or it could just be the same person, and they're just kind of coming back, okay? Now, the soulmate cards we have, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. Love yourself as much as you want your soulmate to love you. Those are the messages for the soulmate Manifest, manifestation day and let's see are there any angel answers for this reading here that you would like to give oh and it fell hold on guys Ooh, what is it get more information okay remember how i just said you need to listen right all right so maybe if you guys sat down talked about it discussed it maybe you both could get some clarity here okay in this relationship whatever this codependency situation that went on maybe you guys need some clarity need some healing need some closing right a lot of times talking to that person to finally close that door can help you move on no matter if it's moving towards fixing the relationship or if it's moving towards letting each other go okay so get more information. Aquarius, take this how it feels for you. You are the one to make your decisions in your life. It is not up to me. It is up to you. I'm just here to deliver the messages. I hope that this helps you some and, and, and helps you to find a way to get clarity and to uh, overcome this here. I wish you the best. I'm sending you so many positive vibes right now. Everything will work out. Everything happens for a reason. Everything has a purpose. And if this resonates with you, if you want to, make sure you smash that like button. If you're new to my channel and you enjoy my content, please subscribe. I would love to have you on my channel. I would love to have you in the community. And I thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much for the love and support. And I will catch you in the next video.